guys, how's everybody doing today? It is, let me turn this air down a little bit so it's not too loud. How are you guys doing today? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a week. It's been two days already, can you believe it? So, I thought I would come on. There's not a lot going on. Um, actually, Randy, I, and a bunch of friends went on another ride today. And we went up to this beautiful, majestic area called uh, Crystal Lake by where we live. It was so pretty. We packed our picnic lunches and went up in the forest and had had our lunch and just laughed and had a great time. Um, then we hopped back on our bikes and came back into town. And so we're here now. Um, we are going to, Randy and I, he's in the house getting some stuff together right now. We're going to, um, return or exchange a couple shirts that he needs to get a different size I've got to go to the post office drop a package off so I thought maybe I would just bring you guys with because there's really nothing going on um, the kitten update the kitten update is they are 11 days old to, is it 11 or 12 they were born on the 5th they were born on Cinco de Mayo isn't that sweet so they were born on the 5th of May today is the gosh I don't even know what the date is Today the 15th or 16th Saturday anyways you can do the math I'm not even sure what the day is um, so yeah we're the kittens are doing amazing but I don't have them this weekend because I had my daughter babysit them so Randy and I could go out with our friends and stuff it's like being a mommy all over again having to have these little babies and finding a babysitter for them but they're so precious so I haven't found homes for any of them yet not that I would give them away right now. We've got to wait it out another like six weeks or so, but nobody wants a kitty cat. Um, and the people that do are on the other side of the continent. So that's not going to work, <laughs> but yeah, um, everything's going really good. And let's see what else. There's really nothing you guys. Um, I got my long chomp in the mail. I can show you guys that when I get home. It's my favorite color, purple Longchamp, the large Le Pliage, and it came with the matching cosmetic case, and the girl was bomb. She sold both of them to me for 40 bucks, so I got my purple purse. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, I'll show you that. Hope I remember, hope I remember, but we're on our way. I'm waiting for this man of mine to get in the car so we can go, and yeah. I will take you to the Harley dealership with us again. Woohoo, right? I'm sorry, guys. I just don't have anything to vlog about. Everything's basically the same. I can tell you, though, this is interesting. There is a neighbor who lives near us. I'm looking at them right now. Who is a, she's a very heavy drinker. And then one of my very good friends, which is a neighbor, has, um... A couple dogs and I can't remember what they are they look like German Shepherds but they're not um, they're like kind of like a brown and black brindle they're, they're beautiful um, one of them though is extremely protective extremely protective and they don't he doesn't like uh, little animals he's just it's just his nature I guess I'm not sure but anyways the lady went across the street and my my neighbor has signs up everywhere caution warning don't come up to the gate you know dogs will attack the dog will attack i mean this dog is like major major uh uh protective dog this dog was awesome i guess but anyways i'm not going to mention any names or anything but one of the neighbors went over and she had been drinking and she's like trying to lean over the fence hey hey you guys hey and my other friend is like get away from the gate oh my god get away get away and before my friend could get up to the gate their dog literally scalped our neighbor yep took a chunk out of her forehead out of, took a big like all this right here all of that right there and so um Reed and I were driving by, we were going to the, to the grocery store and we were passing by my friend's house and Reed says, mom, it looks like, I 
keep wanting to say her name, but I'm not going to. Looks like she's giving somebody stitches. I'm like, no, I don't think she'd be giving stitches. And then within like 30 seconds, the paramedics pulled up. We're like, oh my gosh, what in the world? So my Reed text his, texted, text his friend, which is the dog owner's son. And she's like, yeah, it just took a big old chunk out of her face and her head. That dummy literally was like, trying to like almost climb over their big metal iron metal gate and the doggy got her so they took her away in the ambulance and I haven't seen her since she's I'm sure she's in the house not feeling well but um yeah that was the excitement for yesterday so okay where in the heck is Randy at? I gotta go find well, it well look guys. who's here you guys yeah, get this fault. freaking doofus listen so I'm sitting in the car the whole freaking time, and he's in the house, sitting in the house, waiting for me. Oh. It's because you didn't tell me you were going outside. It's because you, no. See, we're going to fight now. You want to fight, buddy? You want to, you want a piece of me? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 I'll give you a piece of me, all right. Just drive. Just shush. Well, now Turn that thing off. Nice so sunburn. Oh, you like that? Now you've missed the post office. I don't care. Turn this thing off. I'm getting irritated. It's on my phone. Damn, they got the nicest bikes here ever. Oh, Pixie. Come here, baby. I know. Look at it. Doesn't he look good with that purse, you guys? <laughs> Are you all done? Huh? Ready? Want to go inside? She goes. No, she hasn't gone. She just wants to play. Play, play, play. You have to go pee pee? Where's daddy? Where's daddy? Go see daddy. Little monkey. She'll stay out here all day, babe. You wanna go? You ready to go, huh? Little fluffy butt. She cracks me up. You done? Hey, monkey. You ready to go? You wanna go bye-bye? I can't really get into the Harley clothes because I'm such a cowgirl type. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I can ride all day, but when it comes to the clothes, it has to be, I don't know. I've got Pixie in the other arm, so I can't really dig through. Just kind of wanted to show you what they've got. They do have a purse. Where's the purses? Here's the purse right here. There's this one, and this is $179, okay. And then this one is, um, it's like a jacquard type fabric. And it is, let's see, an $89. Holy Toledo, you guys. Let's see, what is this? Just like muscle shirts. I'm not about muscle shirts, really. Oh, let's see, here's a tank top. What's this little tank top look like here? Hmm, not my thing. This one's okay. I like this one. And it is, this stuff's super expensive here, you guys. This tank top is 35 bucks. So I like wearing tank tops on the bike because it gets hot, at least here. in the summertime. Mm -hmm. What'd you find? Something over here? These are kids. No, that's not. No, they're not. Oh, hit, they're, man. A halter, they're a tank top, halter Ooh, top. Right? Little 